All right. Here we are. Let me turn my music down. I also want to switch my beats. That's right. Oh, thanks. Oh, wait. It's coming through my stream. I'm watching my own stream. No, you are not dead. There we go. Oh. Beats right after a haircut is a great feeling. There, oh, I'm blind. Uh, this. There we go. Okay. Let me go put a monitor on this. Um, monitor and output. So, we are going to be naming, I can't do that, there's a d delay. Okay, so, let me just test the chat thing real quick. Cool, that shows up on the stream and recording. So, we're going to be naming colors using an RNN. So, I'm just getting right into this. Uh, let me just quickly show the data I have. I found this list on a website called, um, what's the website called? Give me a second. Um, data.world is where I found it. So take that for what you will. Um, data.world is where I got the data. And you can see that it has like kind of multiple names, but it has a, uh, okay, that's a bit weird. Uh, yellow. It has a single word for each. No, it has a whole. Is it always the. Okay. It's always last, it seems. Wait. This is so much shorter than the other list I found. Um, yeah, we can use this to start. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to process some data. So we're going to make a second data processor. So this is going to use pandas. So then data frame is going to be pd.readcsv the wikipedia call use calls this is going to be uh, name um, we need the red 8-bit and we're going to need green and oops Green, blue, green, blue. Let me just make sure I have these all named the correct thing. Nice. Okay, so if we print DF, we can see that. Perfect. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to basically make a new structure. I need to put these all in their own respective lists. So can I do, can I do name? I don't use pandas very often. I can. Can I just make this a list? That was so easy. Um, so, um, how am I going to do this? I can just, uh, if I make a list generator out of this, or I in that, and I do I dot split by a, or a exclamation point the last 
that was pretty easy. So that gets me all my names. So this is names. Uh, red is going to be list. Or wait, I want a int x for x in list df of red 8 bit. Let me print that. Nice. Okay. So then green and blue should be pretty simple. Green. Green. Blue. Okay. So that's pretty easy. So I guess to assemble data points, um, TTS, I'm just going to call it, I'm going to make it a list of four, or four I in range length names, because they should all be the same length. Um, I'm just going to make it a list names, should make it a tuple. Oh, it changed that. There's no PyCharm did that. Green. Blue. If I just print points, I should have all the data I need in like super discreet and nice things. Nope. Uh, oh, I need to, I need to index it. So let's take a look and just make sure this is correct if I go and find a color picker. Uh, okay, let's see. Alice Blue, you're saying that's... Uh, um, that is not Alice Blue, my guy. It's this antique white. Sure. Is this aqua? That's aqua. We got aqua marine. Sure. Azure, azure. I actually don't know how to pronounce that. I've never had to pronounce that. Wow, these are incredible. That's beige. I'm not even guessing what that is. Blanched almond. This is just, this is this might be more fun than the project, honestly. Oh, I want to send the stream to a couple of my friends. Um, okay, there we go. So yeah, so there's that. Uh, let me quick open this back up. Cool. Uh, okay. Uh, so there's that. So yeah, so that's definitely working, right? Um, so then I want to serialize this into a frame or better yet, this is just the start of this code. Okay, so I have that now. What I should do is divide this by 255 because I am going to need these as proportions of 255 for what I want to do. Oh, for points. Uh, okay. Nice. And if I do this, but without this I just would expect yeah okay cool so it's right so those are all my points um so what I need to do is I need to define my neural network structure so that's going to well, actually um <laughs> I'm too dumb for this nah look man I'm 17. Actually, I have no clue who you are. Maybe, I wonder if you're someone I know in, in like, 
person. Um, but yeah, I'm 17. It's just a matter of learning things. It's really not that bad. Like, I just know what I'm doing. Like, I just took some time and I learned how to do it. And now I can do it. And it's crazy. Um, but yeah. So, for reference here, I'm going to put this on the thing so that, because this seems so, like, disinterested. Like, um, for reference, that's huge. We are making a neural network to name, name, name colors. This needs to be so much smaller. I would change the size. Can I change it like this? Should definitely be up here. I'm sure this to Steve. Who are you? Is that you, Logan? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah. This is, this is what I do with my free time when I'm not, like, out. Because I totally go out. No, I do. I'm kidding. Um, but yeah. Um, so what do I have to do? I have them as proportions. Uh, I got to what? I got to define a neural network. So we're going to make a class. Uh, not, I need to import torch. Import torch. Uh, and then also import torch dot nn as nn. Cool. Okay, class gen model inherit from module uh start by def in self super dust units okay so what do i need i first need to define a hidden size so hidden size we're going to say it's like 10. um so then i need to define a upscaler because I know my input will always be three wide so we're going to do a self dot hidden in it which is going to be a nn dot sequential of an nn dot linear of three to self dot hidden size because it's not going in order it's just always three and then I need to do nn dot tan h Okay, it's Logan Wid. Is that like your second account? Or is this someone else saying it's Logan Wid? Oh, that's Robbie? Damn. Larry the Lobster X. Robbie. I'm not going to say your last name. I was about to say your last name. Phil is Logan. I got it. We are, we were already past this, man. <laughs> Sorry. That was me. All right. But yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, we've got that now. So then I need something to output a character. Oh, I need to figure out how many characters I have. Oh, uh, crap. Um, how could I do that? Ours is that dot join names. And if I do a sort of, uh, wait, crazy. Um, well, I have to figure out how to sort a list in Python because I know that makes it so that you have only one occurrence. Uh, how to sort list Python. Uh, list dot sort. Okay. So if I do make this a list, that dot sort. So that if I just print the length of cars, I should not get all that much. Uh, uh, 
non-type has no length. Crazy. Um, let's just print cars and see what happens. Well, I imagine that's just going to return none. Uh, got to go. I'm about to go drive. Don't crash into a mailbox or a pole. That's all I have to say. <laughs> that was terrible. that work? None. Why is that none? Okay. Oh, print cars. Bruh. Print cars. Yeah, why can I not sort this? List.sort. Wait. Dot sort? Because that's a list object. Dot sort. That's crazy. Oh, it's set. That's what I'm looking for. Set. And then just convert it back to a list. Um, okay, so then print cars dot or length of cars because it should be like 27 or 28. 46, I can take it. Um, what's in that? Oh, wait. Dot lower. I think that's it. That's better. That's what I want. Uh, wait. Oh, well, I guess not every letter is used then. Uh, okay. So that solves that issue. All right, so then we need a self dot car extractor, which is a nn nn dot sequential, which is a nn dot linear from self dot hidden size to self or to length of cars uh, plus one, or actually not plus one. Um, append a list or I could just do dot append nope and that's my end character uh, that and then it needs a and then dot soft max uh, I don't know thanks for bothering you I was loving from your channel. Shut up. Can I get rid of this? This is fucking stupid. Can I do it in here? Dog. Okay. Well. <laughs> um. Uh. Dim equals zero. Cool. Uh, okay. So that's the character extractor that'll tell us what character to use. Self dot hidden 
transform is nn.sequential all of them, nn.linear from self.hidden size, oh, hidden size to self.hidden size with a nn.tan h of, yeah, tan h, cool. So then we're going to do a def forward um, rgb So what I need to do is I need to create a tensor. So input is torch dot tensor on some data uh, consisting of R, G, and B. That should already be floats because they should be floats, but I'll just cast it to float anyway. All right. So first thing I need to do is get a hidden. So, oh, I also need a max val. Um, I'm just going to write tokens for now because that's how many it should output and I would have that be as part of the trainer. Um, so hidden is self dot hidden in it of input or blank in range tokens. Now we need an output tensor. Output equals boom. Okay. Uh, how do I do this? Torch dot zeros um, with a y value of tokens with a x value of length of cars. Okay. So that means that put dot or output at oh this needs to be i i all should equal self dot car extractor on the hidden state and then hidden should equal self dot hidden transform on hidden uh, okay so that does that, and then I should just return Okay, which does something. So we make a gen generator that we call an instance of gen model for. Um, let me call, let me print generator on um, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 point, oops, 0 0.5 for five tokens outputs. All right, let's see that. None type has no length. Why? Object. Why do you have... Okay, we're gonna add a list with the end token in it. Because I don't think about how methods work. Okay, so I want this whole thing to sum to one. Let me just open up Python real quick. I have an idea. R1 equals a list. Oops. Uh, sum of L1. Cool. That's why it is right. I think. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, that's actually a really good start. So we're gonna make a loss fn, which is going to be nn.msc loss, and a optimizer, which is 
torch.optim uh, dot atom of generator dot parameters with a learning rate of three e negative four. Okay, so to do one training loop, we're all going to generate the truth. Uh, okay. So what I need to do is I need to make a while true. So we need to initialize a random random pop is going to be PTS. Um, let me just run random import brand int. So then random pop equals PTS for while random pop or the length of ran oh, length of random pop is not zero. Um, what do I gotta do? So I need to get a point. So point is going to be random pop dot pop from zero to length of random pop but that's going to be the max index plus one so minus one cool why is this having an issue what oh random that's why um from zero to length of random pop minus one. Okay, so that'll get a random thing from the list. So it's not, I mean, should, the order shouldn't really matter here, but mm, whatever. Um, so what I need to do now is generate a truth tensor. So truth is torch.tensor uh, for zeros in the shape of y. So that's going to be length of that plus one, but this is going to be point zero in the x of length of cars. Uh, and this is going to be a float. So truth minus one, minus one, it would be zero with a one, yes. Uh, Okay, then for, oh wait, I should definitely create a num to character and character to num. NTC is the dictionary form of the enumerate rate of cars. And then, right, yeah, and then CTN. Is going to be the y x or x y in car ntc dot value wait it's key value it's items let me just print that real quick i print ctn So that's right. All right. So then for I in range length point zero truth at the Y value of I at the X value of CTN of points at i this should equal one so there's my truth tensor so then we need a prediction tensor which is 
generator work. Oh, I need to clear my gradient. Optimizer got zero, Brad. Okay, generator on. Point zero. One, two. Uh, one, two. And the length should be. What should the length be? It should be length of point zero oh plus one okay so then loss will be loss function from red to truth then i need to do loss dot backward and then optimizer dot step and then we're going to just print actually let's do this once at the end of this and this is why i got tkdm from tkdm import tkdm um tkdm uh, let me do the tkdm i can't do the tkdm of that actually uh that's fine i could just get rid of that it shouldn't take that long um Loss dot item. Ah. Too many dimensions string. Am I putting strings in there? And type of like R. Yeah, it's a string. Why is it a string? I thought I converted this to ints. PTS zero or yeah, PTS zero one. Well, I guess this type of this one. Oh, it's one, two, three. Okay, so it's getting absolutely nowhere at astonishing speeds. Um, let's. Did it ever. Was it ever bad? Yeah, because it gets there really fast. Um,. Interesting. Why is it that same value? What is it outputting? Let me see Pred. Oh, interesting. It's actually not. And it's interesting. Okay.
This probably is going to complain. Okay. Oh, wait. It's, it's learning. So this is definitely changing. Okay, so it's changing between all of them, but I think for I don't think that matters. Oh, hello. Okay, odd. Um, let's get rid of that. And let me just print uh, the. Uh, which dot absolute between truth minus. Red. Let's just see. Yeah, okay, it's bad. Um, See if this is anything. Uh, you're not gonna like that. What? So it actually is very confident about the end character. It'll look like this. Is there anything that's like particularly high? Yes, actually, there is. Is it just learning just super fast? Let's find out. Um, let's... Uh, at the beginning, let's pick a random one. Grant test is PTS uh, rand int. From zero to length of P T S minus one. Then I need to I need to print the torch dot arg max of why did my music just stop? Hello? I don't think this is actually connected anymore. I don't need it anyway. Oh, I see my microphone. Um, okay. So let's do torch.argmax of pred. I'm really about to try this because this won't always be there. Except pass. Is this like doing something? No. Range for random range. Is that zero? I don't follow. Okay, well, it's not helpful either. Ah. From copy, import, copy. We're going to make a copy. I think we're having RAM issues.
There we go. All right. Ugh. So then get rid of... Uh, yeah, let's do a try on the whole thing. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Um, Torch.argmax along zero axis. What does that do? Zero or dim equals zero. Let's just see that. Uh, so if the length is changing, which I don't actually know if it is length of this or no, I want to just get shape. If the shape changes, I'm doing it right. If it doesn't, then I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> Twenty-seven. I think that's wrong because I think it's just doing it along the wrong axis. Because I should get. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So let's take a look. So this should tell me what. Wait, what did I change before? Wait, that was one, right? Yeah, okay, I want it to be one, I think. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that's not quite right. Definitely likes to select the last one a lot. Um, so let's just make the function. Let's just keep going because uh, this is going to be a list. Can I just convert this to a list? Can I do that? Is it something I can do? Print the list form of this. Okay, well, um, dot detach dot numpy. There we go. Okay, so So that's my list of indexes. Oh, also this should be, oops, uh, there, and this should be here. Let's see if that does anything better. Okay, this might need to take some time to train. We also might want to turn this up a little. So that's like 10. Uh, okay. All right, I really hope this network is like dense enough because I don't feel like going and modifying it. Uh, so that's that. So then I should be able to make it a list generator of NTC or I in that. Or, yeah, NTC I. So that should just convert it to a string of or a list of strings, and then if I just do this, dot join this, I should get my output string. It 
generator on rand test rand test uh one two three two three um, and then it should be length of rand test zero plus one right is that how i do it down here truth yeah so it should do it all now and then i also just need to print the Rand test of zero because they need something to compare it to. Oh, here, let's make it zero. Uh, I think I need a denser network. Okay, yeah, let's make it a bit more dense. Um, so the character extractor should do in an end dot linear with an nn dot tan h let's just add one layer to this from self dot hidden size to self dot hidden size and then let's just add one more of those here Something like that. So I wonder if the loss is even going down, like consistently. Print loss dot item. Or are we just getting stuck? It's definitely. Mm. Let's just set it to do copy points through 10 and see if it does any better. more to memorize only one all right it might need more data to store much better nice okay so now let's open this up back up to like five and see if I can get to this point. Talk, whoa. Calling it a zoer. Let's see if I can figure out that this is. That's also, wait. I don't even know what this color is. Azure. Zoomer. 
Is that the color? Yeah. I mean, I can see how you can make that mistake. It's definitely getting there. You see it. You see it. Okay. Tell you what. I'm going to end the stream. I'm going to let this train overnight. We're going to see what it does. I'll come back tomorrow. And I'll make another thing tomorrow about how it does. It could also be that this needs to be better, like, encoded into the initial hidden state, actually. So let's do an nn.tanh, and then nn.linear from self.hidden size to self.hidden hidden hidden size let's just try that real quick and then i'll let it train overnight if it doesn't like immediately get it aqua decent start don't blame me for saying azure I'm going to take out the print statement so it runs faster. Or, mm, counts equals zero. Actually, one. Um, let's just do a. If count mod 1000 equals zero, let's just try all this. And then. count plus equals one. Let me just make sure that actually outputs every once in a while. Yeah, let's do it every 200. All right, let's see. I'm also just going to let it rip overnight. All right. So that's it for today. Um, that's actually a really nice amount of time. It's about an hour. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put this. <laughs> what? Oh, it's going to be a lot slower now. Let's see how quick. Yeah, I'm going to do it every like five. Cool. All right. So, yeah, we're going to take that for what it is. <laughs> Damn. Um, and we're going to let it go through and do its thing um we'll see if it's any better tomorrow morning so yeah uh no one watched on twitch really except for two people i know um for a couple minutes but we'll see how youtube goes you know larks a pretty cool color name